invited Jesus to come into your heart and to be your Savior and your Lord. So I want to just run through with you real quickly what it is that we're doing here with the water and what it symbolizes. Okay? So do this with your hands. Put your put one elbow in a, in a hand. And so, so what happened when Jesus was crucified on the cross after he died, what they do? They laid him in a tomb. And he was buried there. And then on the third day, the Bible says, what happened? He rose. Right. Now, in the same way, what we're saying is that when we invite Christ to come into our heart, the old me is buried. That old me is dead. The new me, full of Jesus living inside of me now, is raised to life. Okay? So even though your body is the same body that you've had even before you had trusted in Christ, what we're celebrating is that his Holy Spirit now is living inside of you. And that's the symbolism of the water. Okay, so with that uh, introduction, why don't, oh, oh, let me give you one other little instruction. We found at the earlier <laughs> service, it'll work real well if you all will slide you sort of scooch down as we go along, and, and you can just kind of step off these stairs right here, and, and you can come stand right here with me, okay? Next we have Elizabeth Bergeron. Elizabeth is in the fifth grade, and she's the daughter of Bridget Bergeron. Elizabeth accepted Jesus in 2007, and she thinks the best thing about being a Christian is knowing who God is. Yay, Elizabeth. Yay, Elizabeth. <laughs> You've invited Jesus in here about five years ago. That's awesome. All right. So I baptize you in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. 